Hey Blender users, uh, this is Chad Close and at Close Blender, our Blender tutorials. Today we are going to make a tree, um, a pretty basic tree. It's just going to be a dead tree. We're not going to add any foliage or anything like that. So let's just jump right into it. Center out our 3D cursor and let's delete our default cube. Uh, for just modeling purposes, we're going to hide the camera and the lamp. And for some reason, my 3D cursor didn't center. All right, let's begin. Let's add in a circle. We're going to bring this down to 16. And we are going to go to ortho and front view. First thing we're going to do is we are just going to kind of get the basic shape of the main trunk. We're just going to kind of scale it down as we extrude it up with the E button and S to scale it down R is to rotate and G is to grab um, you should probably go and click on this which I do have no idea what the name is but it lets you uh, select everything behind the object which is kind of get something we like We're going to add another stem that goes off right here. So we'll just leave that like right that. And then let's kind of torque the side of it. So there we kind of have an odd shaped tree. We're going to scale this down a bit. Zoom in. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a branch that goes off right here. We're going to add it in between these edge loops right here. And what we're going to do is first, I'm going to extrude this out and then merge it using Alt M. All right, we're just going to use this top part as our branch. Um, it'll just save us some uh, modeling. So we are just going to extrude. Duplicate it, shift D is to duplicate, and then just grab it over here, rotate it, I'm align it a little bit, bring it in, and then change the angles and whatnot. Fatten it up a little. Just play around with it until you get something that you kind of like. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go in here. We're going to go into face mode. We're going to select a couple of these faces. And then we're going to do this one too. X to delete. And then we're going to delete all the faces. Go into vertex mode. We're going to select this loop. And then also select this loop. Then we're going to hit W, loop tools, bridge and that'll bridge it in and there's a, some torquing twisting up here and this is not what we want at all so we're going to exit out of that we're going to add a couple edge loops in here and then we're going to do it again loop tools and that is much better if you do not have when you hit W if you do not have this loop tools you can go up to file user preferences this pop-up window will come up. I'm on dual monitor right now, so popped up below. Just type in loop tools, and then you get mesh loop tools, and then just check that box. I think by default it comes unchecked, but uh, it's a pretty cool tool set that comes built in. You don't got to download anything. It just comes in with a normal blender. All right, let's exit out of that. And then we let's add a modifier to this tree. So let's go over here, add modifier, subsurface. Let's crank it up by two, and then let's set shading to smooth. And we're gonna have to go into edit mode, select everything, and we're gonna have to recreate, recalculate the normals. Now, you can model like this, where you kinda see, you see the vertexes that are actually there, and then you get the smooth surface. But what you can do, you can select this button right here, 
and it puts it to the mesh. It's uh, it's kind of nice. It's uh, it, it's looks better. It might be easier to model, but it's uh, it's all preferences. Um, I'm gonna ch put it on for now and uh, see how it goes. Um, I don't know if I'll like it or not, but we will try it. So let's add in another branch, and we'll just split it right here. We're gonna actually deselect this for right now. Actually, no, I'm just gonna keep it on. It'll be easier to move. Put this back on. And what you can actually do is to move them around, you can hit Control E and then do Edge Slide, and you can slide this edge along the surface. So I'll put it right there. And then we're just going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to go into face mode, and we're going to select a couple branches. I'm actually going to put another edge loop in here. And I'm going to select these two edge loops. Go back into vertex. Hit W. And then smooth, and that'll just smooth this corner out a little bit. I'm just holding Alt and then Shift too to select everything, so that looks a little better. And let's go back in and select a couple branches or faces. Um, that should be good. Let's delete faces, and then we're gonna do Alt. Go into vertex mode, Alt, E to extrude, and then what we can use is we can hit W, Loop Tools, we're going to go to Loop Tools again, and then hit Circle, and it will circle all the vertices, which is a nice tool, and it's uh, much easier than trying to reconnect all the, or re realign all of them into a circle, it's just a pain. I've actually made a tree and did not use loop tools so the bridging and all that was uh, pretty difficult and I do not suggest anyone should try it for fun we are at the seven and a half minute mark so I'm gonna have to speed up because YouTube only gives me 30 minutes right now so I produce some more but uh, you guys are kinda getting the basics of how to create a tree um, it does you can make a bunch of variations like this um, just keep adding loop cuts and then delete some faces, extrude them out, and then you can use the loop tools. And that is weird. Why? I wonder why that face is like that. What I just did is I selected it all and did remove doubles, so any vertices that are uh, on top of each other will delete. I'm just going to re recalculate. Um, that's very odd. Why that's being like that. Oh, I think it's because... Um, no, I don't even know why it's doing that. I'm going to go into vertex mode. I don't know why it's like that. It's very weird. I'm just going to delete them all and then extrude it out again. Merge them at center. It must just be because they're merging at center or something. And the way this uh, this is doing it, it's changing them all. So, let's, uh, let's put a base in here. Let's select all of this, grab it up. Extrude it down a little, scale it out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select some of these sides and we're kind of just going to move them out. But we're going to go into proportional editing, do connected, and then I'm going to grab Y and then you can scroll up or down to change the fall off of the proportional editing. And I have 30 seconds, so I'm going to do this quick. And then you can add these big seams in there that you see on big trees. And then from this, you could add uh, roots, root systems and uh, whatnot like that and this is going to be the conclusion of my video wow that's a really bad base I'm going to bring this in well you can really kind of create whatever tree but uh, stay tuned subscribe for more videos and uh, see you guys